I love it. I couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Am I reincarnated in little greyhounds? Because why is the why does the voice go so well? Montreal-based Tika the dog went viral on TikTok after she showed off all her outfits she wasn't able to rock due to the ongoing pandemic. Her staple, her very particular voice, created by American TikTok user Lorena Pages. I've never seen clothing that looks like New York street fashion. You know, like I've never seen that level of high fashion on a dog, but it's amazing. We started with a lot of fleece, a lot of onesies that kept her warm. But then we realized online when posting these outfits, they were getting a lot of attention. People thought they were super cute. So we were like, hmm, we, can, we can maybe have a little more fun with this. So we started adding pom-poms, started adding sequins. And of course, we're always making sure she's comfortable first. So it's been a really long time since I went out. So can you help me pick an outfit? Okay, so there's these. Lorena Pages, the voice behind Tika the dog, initially created the audio to narrate her cast dressing up. But when people started using her audio on the platform, the comedian decided to repurpose the audio and make it accessible to all who wanted to show off the outfits they weren't able to wear because of COVID-19, keeping everyone at home. I just want everyone to have a reason to show off all their outfits, you know, like that they haven't been able to wear. So I made that audio and I mean, it started being trendy, but I, that was it. I thought that was it. I was like, okay, awesome. It was a cute trend. I loved it. But then here comes, you know, Cosmopolitan Pooch 2020 and like skyrockets the, the audio to another level. When we found Lorena Sound, we were like, this is probably what Tika would sound like if she could speak. So we kind of went through her videos and we found one that was perfect for her because it was all about outfits. And I was like, Tika has 200 outfits at this point. The Italian Greyhound has now become a self-proclaimed gay icon using her platform to promote inclusivity. She could actually maybe speak up and use her platform for good. So age is being visible uh, for young, the younger generation to show that two gay guys can grow up and have a healthy, happy, healthy life. Um, and then also speaking for those who maybe don't have a voice. Uh, so we partner with Rainbow Railroad, which is a charity out of Toronto, and they help LGBTQ plus uh, people in other countries that maybe they aren't safe or they may be facing the death penalty, uh, seek asylum and escape to Canada to have a better life. And of course, we had to ask Pages to do the voice. I love it, couldn't wear it, love it, couldn't wear it. Then there's these, love it, couldn't wear it. And this was supposed to be my cute costume, but no. In Montreal, Sarah Rainville, City News.